Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Good Shabbos. I believe this is the third summer that we're doing this video together, Milo, and we're reading from the book of Numbers. The reason it's called Numbers, there's a lot of numbers in it. So what's your favorite number? 88. 88? Why 88? Because it's a together number. It's a together number, and we're together. And Milo agreed to do this video. He's on his way to baseball practice. He's uh, He's going to be practicing with the Orleans Firebirds. That's what he's doing this morning. And then we're going to watch him play later in the week. But uh, the Book of Numbers is also called the Midbar, which means in the wilderness. And it's the experience of the Jewish people in the wilderness. And perhaps the most important number in the wilderness is the number seven, because that's where the Jewish people meet God. They think they're lost. They just need direction and they find God, and they find that God is very accessible. This portion, Balak, is so interesting. It's humorous, it's insightful, it's everything. I wanna tell you this story. You won't believe this story, Milo. So first of all, King Balak of Moab calls upon Balaam to prophesy against the Jewish people and to bring curses upon them. And so as he's heading out, he's on his donkey, picture this, and the donkey stops. The donkey will not go forward, and, and uh, Balaam gets very angry at the donkey, and he hits the donkey, and he yells at the donkey, and finally the donkey starts speaking to him and says, I can't go forward. There's, there's a person standing right in front of us. And, and Balaam does not see this person at first. The person, the image, is a messenger from God. And at the end of the story, we go full circle, and instead of Balaam bringing curses, he actually curses Balak, and he brings blessing upon Israel. And one of the famous prophecies, which we do every Shabbat morning, Matovu, how goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O oh, Israel, did you ever hear that one? No, well, you heard it now. Anyway, I love this portion because sometimes things are standing right in front of us and we don't see it and we don't know it. And one of the things that's so obvious to us is your 88 that you said, being together. Sometimes we don't realize that our family and our friends really should be of utmost importance and we should be together with them and spend time with them, and be there for them, and be in the moment with them. So I love this portion. It means open your eyes. Don't be blind to what's standing right in front of you. And to be able to turn curse into blessing, and blessing even into greater blessing. So Shabbat Shalom. And good luck. And by the way, now he's off to baseball practice. Bye. Bye. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Hey, one, two.